hello guys welcome to infinity design with another tutorial i hope you all are doing well this is engineer munawar khan cswa so let's start today we will be making a realistic group effect in solidworks 2018 so we'll start by opening a new file a new path file specifically yeah this is our solidworks interface we'll start by making initial sketch it could be it could be either the row profile or the sweep profile so let's make a sweep profile here we can use any type of uh, sketch type it can be spline it can be any type so let's go with the spine this is the spine Now we again go to sketch command. Oh, prior to that, we need to show all the planes, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for starting the sweep command, you need to have a sketch at the starting point of the path. So we need a plane, right? We need a reference plane. We click on this right plane. We click on the start of this path. Now we click OK for the reference plane. This would be our reference plane. We can sketch on this plane. We can turn off the planes. And this is the starting point. We will need three profiles which will wrap throughout the profile, throughout the C profile. Okay, we can make it one, one at least, minimum one value. We need another circle, one, okay, we need another circle. yes okay now we add relations make them tangent to each other that's it now we make these two circles tangent to each other okay and now we can remove this center profile and using the move command we move our sketch somewhere here yeah just to check it out it's okay it's good yeah one thing more you should take care of that you should make the profile uh, to be at least perpendicular to the start okay of the profile and then you can bend it uh, in any angle okay okay uh, let's let's go to the sweep command click on this sketch and then we click on the profile so it's giving a simple sweep command now what we will do we'll go to the options it should follow the path We should specify a twist value so that you can define degrees radians and revolution so let's go for the revolutions we'll make it 10 re revolutions okay uh, make it 20 this this thing sounds good but let, let's increase it a little bit more so all this depends on what's your requirement. You can have it uh, different. You can have it different revolutions. So yeah, I think 25 is good enough. Let's let's click OK. Yeah, 
so this is how it is you get a perfect realistic rope effect here okay we can add uh, some texture to this advance go to yeah okay we can let's add some material fabric cloth gray uh, white cotton cotton beige so let's have this one yeah this one looks good so this is how you you design a rope in solid works right I hope you like the tutorial and if you need any assistance you can leave a comment in the section below and uh, that's it if you all if you also need a sample file I can also provide you that so don't hesitate to ask for the file uh, and that's it till next video peace out